Hey guys, welcome to the unboxing of the POCO F5 Steam injector tool Pack of manuals A useful transparent case I've already um, own two POCOs, the F3 the F4 They are the one of the best uh, mid range of phones I've ever used, best budget mid range phones, and typical it always comes with a very good uh, processor. And here you see a flagship level Sound Dragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor, 120 hertz AMOLED dot display, 67 watts turbo charging, 64 megapixel triple cam camera with OIS. As you can see, the 67 watts fast charger so this is the black color the 64 megapixel main lens 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera so plastic bag but a very nice squarish design very minimal bezel so up close let's look at the quality here I think it's plastic but it looks aluminium this rail could be aluminium but here it is here you can see the very slim bezels and the symmetrical look beautiful really beautiful squarish design so the bezels I believe are the same on all sides so just a bit about the design this three camera ring uh, is integrated with the body which is uh, very uh, it's very uh, thin and that's the texture printed texture on the back phone is a nice weight about only 181 grams with a 7.9 millimeter thickness if you get the white one will have this uh, ice flake texture but uh, this is the black one that I have which is more like a carbon fiber kind of look so here comes the fingerprint sensor setting it up and this is how the free case looks to the phone So quick initial impression of the uh, POCO F5, as expected it's a very good performer, I've always been happy with the F series which uh, mid-level pricing giving flagship performance and this is no different, playing games is so smooth. <laughs> takes very good pictures it takes very good pictures very good details even in different lighting conditions and overall I'm very impressed with the details and the uh, color reproduction so but what's nice about this phone also in terms of uh, uh, this is the first F series that it's uh, uniform in bezels so you see a very nice uh, display goes up to about 1000 nits it's really really very very uh, symmetrical The interface is fluid. Of course, it does have uh, some apps that com that comes part of the uh, Mi UI. So you do have to remove the ones that you don't want. But you can see it's very very smooth in operation. And in media consumption, we're looking for a flagship kind of uh, performer. 
you know, but if you didn't want to pay flagship prices, the Poco F series would always be a, a good option. It would always be a good option. And that's where it sits. So if you're tight on a budget, yeah, this can be a good recommendation. So if you're okay with MIUI and you want a good camera system and you want a all-round a good phone, the Poco F5 gets a great recommendation. The only thing this, of course, this uh, carbon fiber like printed material is really a fingerprint magnet, but you'll be using it with a case anyway. And it's got a good battery. It's about 5,000 mAh and it's really charges very fast very quick with this 7 watts charger so i think it ticks all the boxes for a phone i really love this phone i mean it's really good value you ask me right, so i hope you like this review until the next one this has been night tech with the poco f5